Hello, uh, this is Howie Jones from foodforestpermaculture.com and these are ghost pumpkins. Started them a couple three weeks ago. It's now late April 2015 and uh, we put 50-60 liters of rich black humus on top of our already built Howie culture uh, with uh, the pathway. You may know about it or you can learn about it by watching a different video. So what we did is we put 50 to 60 liters of rich black humus on top of the Howie culture. And we put in these uh, squash. These are uh, ghost pumpkins, kombucha, um, honey boat squash, acorn squash, watermelon, cucumbers. Um, and then, oh this is all microgreens here and this, this is all these little green dots you can see here. It's, uh, quite a lot of microgreens <laughs> and this here is the vertical garden this is the peas and beans and um, they're up they're runner beans and the peas are snow peas and snap peas and there's um, some strawberries going to be in here maybe the odd cucumber those mini cucumbers they're called mouse cucumbers I don't know if you know about them well you'll see them on the video by the end of summer so um, this is all microgreens and dragon's teeth. When you put the black mound on the ground and you line it all up and you, and you offset it, looks just like a row of teeth. So I nicknamed them the dragon's teeth. So um, this is the pathway through where the mounds are and the shields. You put the shield down because you know it's you never know about hail or something. The shield's just for the for the squash that's out, and then now there's some squash that have started growing. Oh, this is a strawberry. There's some squash that have been growing by themselves. I walk around. I do. A, it's called a gorilla grow, and I just throw my seed everywhere. And I rake it in and keep it wet in the spring, and and it seems to work really good for me. You can do whatever you want. You want to make wines, make rows, blocks, whatever. Do whatever makes you feel happy. And, works for you so and here we go this is a lot of greens a lot of salads a lot of juicing a lot of this, this is lovage that goes in the juice and um, spice cabbage wasabina chard kale that sort of thing and uh, yeah that's kale Mexican oregano great and when you make a pizza there's a uh, uh, rhubarb and there's fennel earlier this is nice rhubarb oh, it's really tasty you gotta keep putting black humus on them you know around you know several times of the year you put it around them and then when it's dormant in the winter time just put a big pile on top like you know three four inches of black rich humus and you'll get lots of uh, lots of rhubarb and, and they, they like being cut the root likes to be cut this is a plum tree, and uh, this is a soil pathway that I fill up. You know, it's uh, you fill it up with coffee grounds and yard waste, kitchen scraps, and leaves and lawn clippings and coffee grounds, whatever you have. And then and brush goes on top of that, and then lime it. You, you can watch a video on it. And uh, this is. Uh, this has all been gorilla growth. All the seeds have been thrown around onto this. And there they are, see? There, there's just tons of them, everything growing everywhere. The microgreens are harvested. And then other things are allowed to grow up, like sunflowers and, and beans, runners, scarlet runners, that kind of thing. So, yeah, and uh, here we go. This is lovage, great in the juicer. The root's awesome, it's very sweet. Go in and have a look at the greenhouse. And uh, this is a uh, cucumber, squash, stuff like that. You know, about a dozen types of squash and cucumbers and melons. And that was hollyhocks, lemon trees, and lovage. Takes two years to grow lovage to maturity. And these are fig clones I made bunch of fig clones, lemons, 
more lemons, more tomatillos. Those are tomatillos. You see, there. Oh, these are uh, cucumbers, squash, squash, cucumbers, tomatillos. Just uh, load the place up and uh, plant. Uh, and there you go. There's a type of cucumber. Oh yeah, there's a cactus, a prickly pear cactus, and here's some uh, raspberry flowers. Oh, and berries, green still, but it's not even May yet. <laughs> they grew up into the inside of the greenhouse by the door, so I left them there to see what would happen. And it seems like they're growing berries <laughs> way ahead of outside, but outside also there's 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 raspberries flowering because. We used to be six weeks early here, but now we're, well, looks like we're 10 weeks by the, by the, what's happening from what I can see. We're 10 weeks earlier than normal. So, and that to me means that we're 10 weeks later in the fall that we're going to have summer like conditions. <laughs> that should be fun to see. Yeah, no snow this year. None at all. Frosted up three or four times, maybe five times no snow and uh, this is April I don't know very end of April not yet May everything's in bloom and everything's growing greenery foliage everywhere 